Hey fellas, welcome back to a new video. Just two days earlier, Go.4.4 has released, and we are going to cover everything that it has got in this video. First of all, I'm going to cover my favorite feature, then I'm going to cover all the features from the release note. So let's get started. First of all, we have got this new camera viewport. So you can see from inspector what your camera perspective is seeing. Like currently I'm seeing these two cubes. So this is a very good feature because it didn't have earlier and Unity have it. But we can just use this too. But it is hard to you know when edit so how do you move and accept your thing. So this is way better than this thing. Now another thing we have got is this game window. So our now game window has changed. I don't have directional light in my scene currently. Let me just add it. Mm. So we have got just this new window. We can just select object, change their value in inspector. Like you see, like you see, I clicked on this. Now I can change this value. So let me just change its scale. Now again, let's go to the game window and its scale has been changed. Let me change it again. Game window. It's too big. Let's make it some small. And now it's very small. But when you just close it, it won't be fixed. It's just for debugging. Now another thing we have got is build in Jolt physics. Previously you have to use just from extension. But now you can just go here in 3D and just use Jolt physics. It's not by default currently. You have to just change it from setting. But I believe it will be by default soon. Another thing we have got is favorites bar. So like you see... For some reason, you have to change energy again and again and again and again. So later, it would, would, would be added in somewhere favorites tab here. I can't see it currently, but there is a favorite tab which will be added in this favorite property. Yes, now it will be added in favorite portrait property. And now I can change it. So it's easy to access, especially in 2D. Because in some 2D control nodes, you have to go in layout and then there and there. It's just so confusing. Especially for CPU nodes and GPU nodes. So it's a very nice feature. Another thing that we have got. Which some of you might like is Jiggle Physics. Now I am not going to explain what is Jiggle Physics. I know you know what is Jiggle yes, Physics. So we have got Jiggle Physics 2. And other, another thing we have got is look at modifier 3D. Which I can't currently use in my scene. Because I have not called it anything. So... These were all my favorite features. Now let's jump into the release notes. Here are the release notes. Link in the description. Here you can check everything this update got. So first of all, Jolt Physics, which I have got, which I have tied to. Then our new game window. Window management magic. I mean in game window. Yes, but that's what I told. Now you can make games in VR. I don't know what's used. Who, who is going to make games in VR? But... Now you can make games in VR, so why not? Now we are some uber exciting thing. I guess it's for better graphics. Yes, it looks for better graphics. Hi, it's for better graphics. Then 3D physics and pollution, new Ajax stone mapping. I, I can tell that too, like here, just in world environment node. Hmm. When you check um, create on new environment tone map, you have got in this new AGX feature. Now, what it does, you can just hover here, not, but you can just check here what it does. This tone mapping algorithm has gained a lot of popularity lately. Our friend Blender even replaced their previous filmic tone mapper with AGX. Now we have this smoother way of Jolt physics, I guess. Oh, that jitter thing. Okay. Now it does smoother things with same tick sizes. And now keys are required in type di dictionary. Optimization is always in every update. In everything optimization is a thing. And if there is not that, that engine is going to die soon. In previous version when you have to do with curve you can just go from value 0 to 1. But you can now go higher. Higher how many you want. Then we have temporary file and directory utilities, manifold, performance boost. 
yeah this is the snap thing i was going to tell you about and i guess this is the first thing i told you in the video now you can just easily place everything in map using snap favorite item editor that's what i recently told replace print statement the new express and evaluator oh the new evaluator has got here somewhere here yes this is a new evaluator i currently don't know how to use it make a tutorial on it soon now you can switch up your perspective and see what camera sees that's what i told you recently and then the tool there is another thing called at the red export tool button it's like a button no this is not that thing but it is like button which you can and from your inspector and this is the task you assign to it both both shadow masking has come continue present in windows state scene startup optimizations some small mighty changes and this is what i was going to tell you about at, at the rate export bar color it's like button which you can use to use to perform several several action without running your game there are many things it has got not for the Linux, I guess. Only one thing. But it has many things. It has got some upgrade in system animation. And here is the jiggle physics I was telling you. And put in a pin. Now we have got some update in audio, faster import, customizable import, background checks, and other things. Debugging in style physics system. Now you have colored collision shape. It was in 2D earlier. I don't know of 3D. You can now blend in shadows. It would be very nice. Retro wise for vertex shading. You can now shade each vertex and other things. Link of this is mentioned in the description. And the blog I posted on my dev.to is also mentioned. This main, these are the main features that I liked. That you can edit in VR transition from Mono to .NET for C support. Physics based 3D snapping new game window. Type to dictionary support, George physics, and that favorite and inspector thing. That's it for today's video. Make sure to like, subscribe, share, and meet you in the next update.